Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So first of all, I need to kick stuff off with saying thank you. Thank you so much to everyone. Honestly, like it's it's literally blown me away um, just how welcoming the metal community's been and how how awesome you guys all are. Honestly, like I I, I can't believe it when I made it to a thousand subscribers yesterday. Um, it means so much to me. Honestly, it's such a such a big deal. Um, <clears throat> and I love doing reviews and interviews and um, I really really hope you enjoy all the content so Letters from the Colony are a five piece from the Netherlands and I'll be reviewing their 56 minute opus vignette This band are tight, like seriously, seriously tight. You know, like Musha the level tight. There's so much energy that they pack into one track. And this is kind of a double-edged sword with the band because they're really fantastic when it comes to all the technicality and stuff, but it can get a bit sort of lost in the mix, I feel, because there's just so much going on. For example, Erasing Contrast starts off with a kind of dissonant um, sort of melody, which kind of brings in, it almost sounds a bit like like reverse sort of deathcore in a way and it's got that sort of quite dissonant Gajira vibe which you can hear right here but then as the song builds it kind of creates this layer and the guitars kind of weave their way around you know the the vocals and the bass and it slowly wraps its way around the melody until it kind of ends up in this kind of massive chorus and then the various use of dynamics that the band have got especially within the guitar and the drums kind of come to a, a culmination in the song's kind of midsection which is right here the band also have a lot of texture um, as I probably mentioned in last week's review texture I think is quite an important thing in a band because it creates this kind of contrast and it creates a almost like a musical vocabulary really and in the final warning, there's a lot of different stuff that's going on. You know, for example, you've got um, various different leads which kind of come in and they, they sound like, you know, the kind of meshuggah, um, like a bug, a bu like, like a bug in the matrix, basically. Whoa. The album opens with a nigh on nine minute track called Galax, which really kind of brings you into the atmosphere of, of the album and kind of, it's almost like a, a great mission statement of the band because it's it just encompasses all the sort of areas of letters from the colony and ends with a 12 minute track which has got you know it incorporates saxophone so it's very creative quite experimental you know this band aren't really scared to kind of go where people haven't gone before if that makes sense for example on cataclysm the songs have more of a kind of punch and I feel they've got a bit more of a kind of purpose, really, and they the, the riffs are, are, are kind of slightly more calculated. In Glass Palaces, um, a track which is nearer, to, more towards the end of the album, and it it's got it's got such prog sensibilities to it, and it kind of moves away from this sort of tech style that they kind of bring with them. But the thing is with Letters from the Colony is there's there's not a huge amount of originality. A lot of it sounds kind of like an amalgamation of other bands, but they do it so well that it sounds really great. You know, there's, there's, uh, there are several times where I was kind of like, hmm. And in the final warning, there's a section more towards the end of the album where it sounds very, very similar to the laid to rest kind of breakdown. You know, this is the, the debut of the band and it's a very strong debut, but maybe next time the band might kind of begin to familiarize themselves with what is their, their kind of sound because some of the more experimental elements on the record are, are really interesting and I feel like that would be a great one to kind of pursue and T Terminus for example opens with this kind of like deathcore sort of sound but then afterwards it kind of is followed with this Gujira style riff I know you can't really patent a pitch harmonic but it sounds very similar I think the artwork is, is great and it's quite representative of what the album is, you know, there's loads of different colours and it's all kind of insane to be fair, but it personally it wasn't kind of like a massive sort of thing for me, but I think it kind of represents all the different 
ideas. Sometimes it's a little bit too close to other artists, but what they do, they do incredibly well. They kind of create their own sound in a very odd way, but I think it's a solid effort, definitely. And it's good, but they've not quite got their own identity yet. <clears throat> and for that reason, I'm gonna give the record a three and a half skulls. Letters from the Colony's brand new album is out February 16th via Nuclear Blast. Make sure you pick it up. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like and subscribe button. And again, thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys on the next one.